So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video talking about the Pop Ghost creator, Kane Carter. That was some controversy for being a scumbag, allegedly, until this entire thing was a hoax and it was some sort of an attempt to cancel Kane Carter being said from Rice Prune, which the thread was later now deleted on Twitter. Right after a dead thread on Twitter was deleted, exactly six hours ago, Rice Prune responded to my video called Pop Ghost Creator is Innocent, and he gave an entire thread as a response to him being the alleged alleged accuser of the pop ghost creator doing these things that would make him inhuman and i guess it sort of like gives him a little bit of context as to why he did this in the first place a few days ago i came across the video i recommended due to the stuff ongoing notably because i was one of the primary individuals involved within the situation i've taken a step back for a few days to calm down which i'll get into but i want to give more insight as i haven't made any proper response so here i go suffering i first want to get out of the way immediately is that that I lied about this, quote unquote, this is simply not true. While it is true that some of the things said in King's server was not as horrendous as it may have imagined itself and I realized, my intention was absolutely not to lie about any of this in the slightest. For instance, when I said that his server made fun of my mental health, this was due to the fact I had an accumulation of a lot of things ongoing with my life. Especially with the harassment I've gone over the years, while it is understandable some people saw it as suicide baiting, the truth is that that I was actually feeling suicidal and even attempted it. Those messages obviously upset me as I was already going through a rough time. What I did wrong, however, in that thread was the lack of context and posting the entire server's conversations. The latter is something I apologize for because I come to understand that it may have put others in danger that is something I entirely understand. The reason I originally did so was to provide additional evidence in the event people try saying that it was quote unquote edited because nowadays it's very easy to do so. Next up, Kane isn't fully innocent. He said it himself. Self. He was stated that it was actually wrong to make wordplay and jokes of the topic of war, and asked himself taking accountability within his response. His response was actually very good, and that is something I will give him credit for. When I said that he defamed him, if you read the document named Ostracism, I mentioned how I got a temporary ban from the FNAF server. Notice the fact that the word allegations was used, and that I was unbanned after clarifying at the time. So, was there an indirect defamation? Very likely, but the messages in the server reinforced my beliefs as well as witch hunting as they use the server in a way to target people while obviously it is their own private sphere think about it for a second you are accused of things that aren't true things blown out of proportions and story being twisted and you then see that people go behind your back and use your full name when you weren't comfortable at the time and I say at the time because my full name was made private for a while at my parents request if I did not want my full name used it is my full right especially with the European right to forget Finally, my thread was not intended to try and cancel Kane, quote unquote. In fact, it was to raise awareness about what he was doing, not to cancel him, so he could give explanations. I do not use the conflict in Palestine for my own gain, quote unquote, or is simply not a thing you joke about when it is ongoing. Regardless of the side you pick, I never said Kane was disgusting or a bad person. I said that his actions disgusted me. I do not think Kane has any bad intentions. He has his own perspective like I have mine. Was the thread poorly executed? Yes but so was Kane's response and ways against me, which people even still held him at a gunpoint for the Palestine situation. I since then left most major communities because I realized it was counterproductive for my mental health. Now with standing the accusations, an account dedicated to be against me actually threatened to leak my address and phone number, justifying by saying that, quote, that I publicized it five years ago. This is the kind of behavior that is unacceptable because these people are truly cruel. I'm open to any more questions you may have, but but I hope this clarified things that needed to be clarified. Accusations of pedophilia slash grooming are something serious and I'll say it again. They're simply untrue. I encourage you to read my document I've made even if things about Kane or Otis are outdated now with the circumstances, which deliberately explain all of this. But that's pretty much all. I don't have to justify myself further to toxic individuals anyways. I never had, don't have, and never will have bad intentions in any way. I just want to be understood better is all. Sadly, not everyone wants to and the internet mentality is destructive instead. I wish you luck in your future videos. So I guess now we got the full story as to why Resprune did this in the first place. With the lack of context that he provided in the thread, which resulted him into a bit of like some backlash as to why he did this in the first place. He did say that Kane Carter is not entirely innocent because of the jokes that he made with the wordplay of the Palestine war, which is important to point out. His intention wasn't really to cancel Kane Carter. It was more of something to raise awareness because of the things that he's done and should be held accountable for his actions. 
questions. I find it pretty messed up that someone trying to find his address and his full legal name, even though he just, although it was, it's within his own right to keep it private from his parents' requests. And it's just something that I feel like it's important to talk about and to discuss as well. Because every time you see someone that calls out a person that's very well known for, it's more of seen as a, as a form of trying to cancel someone. Whether it's their hard work that they did online or if it's outside of what they do on social media, it's just like, it's just a constant common thing that I've been seeing since like, what, 2021 with the whole Dream SP situation, KSI getting canceled for making jokes. Like the, the, the generation is so soft to the point where it made me think that every time there's a person getting canceled, it seemed as either true to the heart or just meaningless altogether. But like I said, at least we got some, a lot more context as to why he did this in the first place. I honestly thought it was kind of unnecessary. I mean, except for the joking part, it also was important to, important to point out that uh, they were making these serious allegations towards Redspoon that apparently he's a groomer, which again, it, regardless if you're accusing someone or the person that's being accused of it's gonna leave a negative impact towards your life it's gonna be it just a short little video talking about the pop goes creator drama of him being accused of this being accused of that responding to the allegations and it's something that he should be uh, held accounted for hopefully this puts an end to it this is already my third video talking about this so uh, hopefully that's it as for me playing final fantasy 7 remake i'm gonna try and beat two chapters every single day with all that being said uh, I feel like that's all I gotta say for this video. That's all I gotta say. This is Wolf Dog Gray, and I'll see you all later. See ya.